Hello everyone, greetings from Stary Saltov, a beautiful small resort town not far from Kharkov, Ukraine. My name is Svetlana Mucha and I'm the leading matchmaker and dating coach at Diola.com. Today we will discuss with you, can online relationship work? I apologize from the very beginning for wearing sunglasses, but the sun shines too brightly here and I really don't want to sacrifice the wonderful, beautiful view behind me. So often I receive this question, can online relationship work? As an international matchmaker who specifies in introducing people from different countries and who usually live on different continents, and of course such relationship, they assume that a certain part of this relationship will be built on a long distance, I could have written a book of uh, stories why some online relationships work while others do not work at all. During the lockdown in 2020, many singles have returned to online dating. Skype dates, Zoom dates became the new reality. So why so many long distance or online relationships do not work? Well, the first and biggest mistake is the fact that people so often do not bring their online relationship actually offline. Singles often forget that online is just a tool that helps you get acquainted with different singles, with different people, expand your pool of search while staying in the safety of your own apartment. But the next step, uh, which is vitally important to make, is to bring your online acquaintance offline. So many subscribers of our YouTube channel and many potential male clients, when they reach out to us for the first time, tell me that they were in serious relationship with this or that lady. They describe in detail uh, at which dating site they have met or maybe on Facebook or Tinder, uh, how they were corresponding for weeks and maybe even months. But then they tell that unfortunately uh, this relationship didn't work out and they had to break it uh, to break uh, with that lady. Guys, I repeat it as the mantra every time. Unless you have met in person, you are not in relationship and she is not your girlfriend and you are not her boyfriend. Even if you are texting like every day for two months, if you haven't met in person, this is not a relationship. So uh, there is nothing to break up, uh, there is nothing to finish. This is just an online flirt. Why? Because uh, there is a strong chance that even after you have been texting back and forth for weeks or for months, your first date will be your last date. And not because she is not decent or not serious, because she might not like you or you might not like her. You can meet in person and she doesn't like your voice, how it sounds in real life. Or for example, you don't like how she is holding her fork and knife or the sounds uh, your hair make while eating. Uh, in real life, she doesn't get your jokes or you don't find her as uh, smart and cute uh, as while texting back and forth. Why? Because while texting, we have this luxury to think about our answer. For example, you have texted her in the morning and she replies you in the afternoon. You assume that she was just busy and really it might be the case. Or maybe she was just thinking about the smart comeback. Or uh, maybe she wanted to appear sharper than she really is. Pretty often, when we talk with someone online, we have this luxury to wait till we are in the right mood or till we think of something smart uh, or really witty to say. When we meet face to face, we don't have this luxury. When you will meet with her on the first dinner or lunch date, she will ask you a question and she will expect an answer from you straight away and she will actually watch your reaction. The question is, can you make a relationship work if two of you live in different cities or different countries or maybe on different continents? The answer is yes, but you will have to follow several rules. The first rule, you have to meet offline in real life at least once before you start building your online communication. Second, you have discussed it with your partner and you both agree that you are in exclusive serious relationship. You have discussed that you will be in the long distance relationship only temporary and you have actually discussed when and where you will reunite and both of you agree with it. Three, both of you are ready to make effort and to invest time into your communication by arranging Skype dates, uh, by talking on phone, by texting and you are on the same page about your 
your relationship and its status. So how does a healthy long-distance relationship actually work? Just like a normal one. You talk, you flirt, you love, you have fun, you discuss your future, you discuss your everyday life, you are involved into the life of your partner. Of course, it is more complicated than to go out on coffee dates or dinner dates, but a long-distance relationship can bring out your creativity and can add extra romance to your relationship from the very beginning. We have watched so many couples cooking dinners together by Skype, uh, arranging a movie night while she watches a movie in Kyiv and he watches a movie in San Francisco, making super romantic scenes while they are on different continents. Of course, it is not for everyone, but usually couples who have built up such a romance and anticipation uh, while expecting a next meeting, when they finally meet and build their relationship at the same territory, they truly cherish each other and they have this extra romance in their relationship. While building a long-distance relationship, it is not easy to be fully present in the life of your love interest, but you have to make effort, you have to be creative about it, and yes, you have to invest extra time into it. One of our ex-female clients, who now is happily married, has shared with us that the hardest thing for her uh, while being in the long-distance relationship for almost a year with her then boyfriend and now husband was uh, the fact that they couldn't cuddle and hold hands. She was really missing his touch. Of course, they were flying back and forth every two or three months to meet, but in between, even though their communication was great and they were laughing, they were talking, they were flirting, it was quite a passionate communication by phone, still she missed his touch. She said that now now, when they are on the same territory, they are happily married, every time they go somewhere and they are together, they are holding hands. And every time they are at home watching a movie, uh, some TV or just reading books, they are always cuddling. And she said that all their friends noted that they are always touching when they are together. She said that in her opinion, this one year of long distance has taught them to actually value the touch of each other. And she believed that other couples that didn't go through the long distance part of the relationship, they don't actually value like the touching so much as they do. Some couples confess that they miss the letters they were writing to each other. One of our ex-male clients told us that when he has met his uh, now wife and they are happily married for almost 10 years already and have three kids now, but when they have just met, they both were busy professionals and they were not really good with texting. He said that it was really hard to find uh, the right time to talk on Skype or on phone during the working week because of the different time zone. So they have decided to write emails to each other during the working week and during the weekends they were planning like Skype dates or phone dates. And he told that in those letters, they were touching such intimate topics like dreams, romantic fantasies, passions, deepest fears. He said that in real life he would never uh, feel comfortable enough to share such things uh, at the early stage of the relationship. But in those letters he was able to open up to his now wife and she was sharing very intimate scenes with him. And he said that uh, the more they were corresponding, uh, the more passionate their letters became. And I remind you that they had real dates in real life before this correspondence. He said that while they were writing those letters, he felt so close to his then girlfriend, who actually lived on another continent, than to any other person. In his mind, nobody knew him as well as she did, because of those emails they were writing to each other. Now, after almost 10 years of marriage and three kids, he says that they, from time to time, treat each other his romantic letters and sometimes his wife writes him romantic notes and she sticks them into his bag so that he could find that note uh, in his papers when he's in work and he said that usually when she does that he and when he finds that note he smiles from ear to ear and he can't wait to return back home to her in his opinion their relationship are way more romantic than a relationship of other couples he knows and he believed that those letters that they have written to each other were the reason they have this extra romance in their relationship so can an online relationship work 
of course if you bring it offline guys i remind you this mantra unless you have met in person you are not in relationship yet even if you have been corresponding for two months or for three months if you haven't met in person face to face not through sky but at one territory you are not in relationship yet that doesn't count i hope it was useful to you and i hope you have enjoyed a beautiful view behind me i wish you all love svetlana muha from diola.com with love